where the x-ray technician was a part-time fireman who came in with a yellow raincoat and his galoshes on to take x-rays. I'm thinking, this is high tech. Oh God, please help. The tests didn't look good. They said we have to admit them overnight. So I spent that night in a CC all night with my six-year-old son in the hospital, lying next to him as he grimaced in agony. I thank God for the doctor. He came by that evening before leaving, and he tested it, and it was just such intense pain. He said, it's still only on the side of the surgery. It isn't of grave concern, but he said, if it goes to the other side, we're going to need to have an emergency operation. And he left around 8.30 p.m. that Sunday night. Every few moments, Joseph was crying out in pain, but then he fell asleep. And then every 10 or 15 minutes, he'd wake up, cry out in pain, and drift back to sleep. Then around 10 p.m., he really let out a scream. And I'm like, what's wrong? And he goes, oh, Daddy, it hurts. And I said, what side does it hurt? Is it the side of the surgery? And he said, no, Daddy, it's the other side now. And he hadn't heard what the physician had told me. So he didn't know what was going through my mind. At that point, I was in total panic. When he drifted back to sleep, I tried to sleep. I tried because I knew he would need me to be rested. But at midnight, I realized it was hopeless. I got out of bed. I dropped to my knees and I began to pray with a concern I had never felt in my heart before, with a feeling of helplessness. As a father, nothing is worse than realizing I cannot fulfill my role as a provider for my own children. And so from midnight until 3 a.m., I prayed on my knees by his bed. And i got to tell you, in the darkness of that hospital room, I felt the presence of St. Francis and St. Clair, but most especially the Blessed Virgin Mary. If someone had shown me a picture of me in that room with her beside me, it wouldn't have felt any more real than it did. For those three hours, I shared my heart. She helped me pray. I didn't hear any voice. I didn't see any face. But I knew what the communion of saints was. It's more than a doctrine. It is a reality. Because I wasn't rowing my boat. The wind of the Spirit was blowing my sails so that I could pray and share the burdens on my heart. And I was crying out with tears, with agony. Dear God, help me. I was confronting fears I never thought I had. I thought I was too big and tough and strong and smart for any of this. And then at 2.45 a.m., I realized what a grace, what a blessing this prayer had been. And then I felt the Lord just saying, do you want a sign? And I said, Lord, I don't deserve it. Again, I didn't hear a voice, but I felt a freedom in the Spirit. And I said, Lord, you know what sign I'd want. Can you please heal my son? The doctors, they're not ready. His father sure isn't either. And I had this peace. And I thought, what can I do to seal the prayers and to offer them to you? And again, right at my side, I felt the presence, not just of a heavenly queen, but of a nurturing mother. And so I spent the last 15 minutes that night praying the rosary. And as I finished up, the Sorrowful Mysteries, at 3 a.m. on a Monday morning, I knew my mother of sorrows. And I felt the love and the power of my Heavenly Queen. And at 3.01, I rolled over and drifted off to sleep. And I realized as I did that He hadn't cried out once in those three hours. And so hope and anticipation began growing. I woke up around 8 a.m., Surprised that he was still sleeping. I got up. I said my prayers. I waited for him to arise, but he didn't. Around 9 a.m., the doctor came in. He said, how did he sleep? I said, the first part was rough. He said, where was the pain? I said, at 10 p.m., it spread to the other side. He bolted. He went down the hall. He went to the nurse's station. They began to call a team together for emergency surgery. He came back and he said, it's a good thing he's still sleeping. It will help his recovery. And I'm thinking, what is going on? And then suddenly around 9.20 a.m., Joseph's eyes open, and he looked up. And then suddenly he did something that he couldn't do the night before. He sat up. 
he looked at the doctor with a smile and he said, Buongiorno! And the doctor said, Buongiorno to you, Joseph. He said, How do you feel? And he said, Okay. Really? Yeah. And he went over and he touched the side, not the side of the surgery, but the other side. He said, Does this hurt? And he said, No. And he said, How about this? And he touched where the surgery had been. Does that hurt? Joseph said, Not really. And he pressed harder. Does that hurt? No. Does this hurt? And he pressed real hard. He said, when you press that hard, it does. And the doctor's eyes grew really wide. And he looked at me and he said, something's happened. And I said, doctor, last night I was praying. And Mary and St. Francis and St. Clair, no matter what you think, they were here. And he looked at me and in broken English he said, this is a CC. What can I say? <laughs> I learned I still need my mother. I still need the rosary. And you do too. And so let's go to our Father in heaven. And let's go to His eternal Son. And in the Spirit, let's pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we thank You and praise You for the gift of Jesus the Christ, the Davidic Messiah, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, and for His everlasting King that has come to us through the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of power. The Spirit of love. The Spirit of authority. And we want to especially thank you this evening for the gift of Mary, for our new Eve, for the Ark of the New Covenant, and for the Queen Mother of the Son of David. For our Mama Maria. We thank You, dear Abba, that You have given us everything we needed and then some. And we celebrate Your grace. We celebrate Christ's glory. And we thank You for the One who is full of grace. And we address Her now even as Your angels did. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with Thee. Blessed art Thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of Thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thank you very much.